And apart from chapter seven, which chapter is there? Ma'am, I'm chapter 14. Okay, chapter seven is triangles. And chapter 14 is statistics. Hi, Rumasha. How are you? Hi, ma'am. Yes, Rumasha. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, so he, he is having this syllabus, chapter 4, 7, and 14. You are also having chapter 4, linear equation in two variables? Yes, Rumasha, is it there? Yeah. I'm not aware because our exams are already done now and PA2 is in December. Okay, it's in December and you are not aware of that. So, okay, yes. let's start with chapter 4 today. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Can you see the screen? Okay, so we are going to start chapter four. That is linear equation in two variables. Let me write it. Just a moment now.
can you see the screen now yes ma'am okay yes, ma okay so let's start linear equation in two variable this word linear equation must be familiar to you you must have learned the uh, concept of linear equation like solving the linear equation in one variable just like suppose we are having one equation as twice x minus 3 is equals to let's say 5 this type of equation easily you can solve right here from here you can take out the value of x and you must have taken it out right while doing the previous uh, maybe in the previous class or something you have also solved linear equation in one variable just in the form of 3x is equals to 5 very simple one okay and rational one also you must have solved that is x by 2 plus maybe uh, 1 by 2 is equals to x by 5 this type of equation have you solved yeah both of you are no. you familiar with this type of equations yes ma'am yeah um, so this these is... are yes so this... these are called linear yes uh, r is are you saying anything yes ma'am this i did yeah so you are familiar with this type of equation and this is also linear equation this is linear equation in one variable here can you see only one type of variable is there that is x here also one type of variable is there that is x in all the question whatever i have written the examples everywhere you can see only one type of variable that is only x and that was linear equation linear means what in polynomial chapter, you have seen no linear equation, quadratic linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial. Huh? So these are linear equation where the variable is having power, the highest power of the variable is one. Okay. If the highest power of the variable is two, the name will differ. That is, that is not linear equation, that is quadratic. Okay, so here we are going to focus on linear equation where the highest power of the variable will be one. But here we are going to focus on linear equation in two variable. Now, while solving this type of equation, you know the value of x, we will get only one value of x. If 2x minus 3 is equals to 5 is there, and if I'm going to solve it, let's solve it. We will get twice x is equals to 5 plus 3. Can I write it like this? Yes, ma'am. From here, what we'll get? Twice x is equals to 8. And from here, we will get yes. x is equals to 8 over 2. That is 4, right? Yes. So what we got? We got the value of x as 4. Similarly, in our next question, here, if we will try to solve it, we will get x value as a 5 over 3. Similarly, here also we will get something as a value of x. So what are we getting? We are, we are seeing that when we are solving linear equation in one variable, there is only one solution we are getting. Or we can say that there is one value of x. Okay, only one and one and only one value of x we are getting when we are solving this equation x equals to 4 is the only value which will satisfy this equation as x equals to 5 by 3 is only value which will make this equation true if you will randomly put here in this equation the circled one if you will randomly put x equals to 2 then this equation will be wrong it will be not valid because 3x has to be 5 3x is equal sign then 5 is there so x value here is 5 by 3 that is the only sol solution of this equation only solution we also say it unique solution so when we are solving linear equation in one variable we get a unique solution what's the meaning of solution solution means value of the variable value of the unknown that is called the root of the equation or the solution of the equation all are just synonymous word okay so here we are getting one and only one value of x but that will not be the case when we will be dealing with linear equation in two variable okay so here we are going to focus on linear equation 
now you must have understood what is linear equation highest power must be one and in two variable two variable means two different kind of variable we will be having where we will be having a linear equation but two variable will be there what can be the example of that the example of that can be suppose we are having just a moment yeah so we can have linear equation in two variable as an example it can be 3x plus 5y is equals to 20 this is one of the example of linear equation in two variable two different kind of variable can you see over here x and y that's why the name is linear equation in two variable okay here the solution of this linear equation in two variable will always be ordered pair like there must be a value of x there must be a value of y that's why whenever we get the solution of linear equation in two variable it is not just one value because here we are having two variables, so there must be two values, like one for x, one for y. If you are having linear equation in two variables, like let's say you are having 5z plus 3k is equals to 24. Here also you will be having two value, one for z, one for k. But one thing I want to add here, that here you will not get a unique solution. There will be a lot of different value which will satisfy this equation let me take a simple example to make it clear to you so suppose we are having a linear equation in two variable as x minus y is equals to five okay or x plus y is equals to five now can we say x value can be one and y value can be four then we will get this x plus y as a five right yes or no yes the value of x can be one and the value of y can be four then only one plus four will make the other side as a five and it will make it valid right now can i say x value can be four and y value can be one yes we can say that because again four plus one is making five and hence the equation is valid it's true we can also say that x value is 8 and y value is 3 minus 3 not 3 minus 3 can we say the value can be anything it can be a positive number it can be a negative number it can be a rational number it can be anything right it can be decimal fraction and in anything can be the value right while solving the linear equation in the previous class you have seen x value can be anything it can be 5 by 3 it can be 2 by 3 it can be 7 by 2 it can be anything right so here can we say x value is 8 and y value is minus 3 then 8 minus 3 will make 5 or we can say not 8 minus 3 we can say Since we are having x plus y, 8 plus of minus 3, that is 8 minus 3 is making 5 and hence it is making our equation valid. Okay, so can we say x equals to 8 and y can be 3 minus 3? We can say that. We can also say x value can be minus 3 and y value can be 8. From here, what are you getting? while solving the previous equation that was linear equation in one variable the solution was unique unique means one and only one value of x was there which will satisfy the equation that we were getting after solving the equation here also we will learn how to solve the equation and everything but here there is no one solution here, there are infinitely many solutions. You keep on thinking and there you will get a lot of value of like different pair of X and Y. So here, linear equation in two variable have infinitely many solutions. Got it? 
But why? Because there will be a lot of point which will satisfy this equation. So I am going to write linear equation. in two variables as infinitely many solution. Do you agree with that? Yes. Few solution I have shown to you. And like this, you can take it out infinitely many ordered pair what is ordered pair just focus on the name ordered pair when we will write this solution i will write the first one as a one four this is called in order i am writing the pair if you have done coordinate geometry chapter you know first we write x value then we write y value so here also whatever we are getting after solving the equation that there at first we will write x value then we will write y value and that is called ordered pair so like this when we were solving the linear equation in one variable we used to get one value of x here we will get a ordered pair whenever we will solve the equation okay let's start with the exercise this was a brief explanation about what exactly is linear equation in two variable, how it is different from linear equation in one variable. Now we will start with the few question which is given in the exercise. So first, when the sentence is given, like I am twice of your age, nobody knows your age, Nobody knows my age. If I am saying I am twice of your age, then your age we can assume as a variable, as any variable, x, y, z. If we don't know anything in mathematics, what we take, we take it as a, any variable. We can take it as a x, we can take it as a y. If anything is unknown, unknown means just take an alphabet and just say that unknown is x or maybe y or maybe z, okay? So what I'm saying, I'm saying the condition, I'm giving the condition that my age is twice of R is is, or maybe my age is twice of Ramai's as is, okay? So here we don't know what is what exactly is R is is. We don't know what exactly is my age. I am telling you to write it in the form of mathematical equation. Just decode it and write it a mathematical equation from here. So what you will do, you will assume that R is age maybe that is, we don't know that can be X. Let's say, because we are not sure about what exactly number is there is like he is 12 years old, 13 years old, 14 years old, what exactly is the age of R is? We don't know. So we can say, let's say his age is X. Okay, then my age will be twice of his age. That means we can say twice X, yes or no? Yes. Like this only few statement will be written in your question and from there you have to make a mathematical equation so let me take the question from your book only Here the first question is given as the cost of
a notebook is twice the cost of pen. Write a linear equation in two variable to represent this statement. Now, if you will see closely, the first example which I have taken, there, my age, your age, everything, there I have taken the condition that R is, is, is X and my age is twice X. Here I have not two variable. Here I have not used two variable, okay? In my example, we have not used two different variable because I, I have just taken one of the variable as X and my age also I have written just like that in terms of X only. But in our question, it is strictly written that cost of notebook is twice the cost of pen. Write a linear equation in two variables. So we have to make a linear equation in two variable for the given statement. So what I said, we will decode the given statement and will write a mathematical equation for that. Okay. So if the cost of notebook, we don't know what exactly that is cost of a pen we don't know what exactly that is so let's write it so let's say the cost of notebook is x let's say it's x the cost of notebook i am going to assume as x okay here in mathematics whenever you are dealing with word problem or this type of uh, problem where a statement is given over there and you are you are going to write a mathematical equation expression just by reading the statement, then what you will do, whenever you will see is word, is, is means is equals to. And what is is equals to sign in mathematics? This is is equals to sign in mathematics. Okay. So whenever is, you will see, just take it as a is equals to. Okay. Now, twice the cost of a pen. Do we know cost of a pen? We don't know. Let's take it as a y. So the cost of a notebook is means is equals to twice. What is the meaning of twice? If doctor is advising you to take this medicine twice a day, you are going to take that medicine two times a day, right? So twice means two times. Thrice means three times. Two times means what? Two times means what? Two multiplied with one, right? So from yes, here only, from the green part only, are you able to uh, understand that X is equals to twice, that means two times the cost of pen, that is Y. And this is our linear equation in two variable, X is equals to two Y. Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it's, it's that simple. You just have to decode the given statement and you have to write the equation. Whatever is not known, just take it as a favorite alphabet. You can take as a X, you can take Y, you can take anything. You can take Z, P, Q, K, anything you can take of your choice. Okay. So our linear equation in two variable is X equals to two Y. This is our linear equation in two variable. We can also write it as X minus two Y is equals to zero. Both are exactly same thing. Okay, we have just taken 2y from that side and we have just shifted it to this side and kept it with x. That side, it was positive. When you will bring it to this side, it will get negative. That's it. Okay, now there is a rule that usually linear equation in two variable is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equals to zero. Usually, this is how linear equation in two variable must look like. At the place of x, it can be any variable. At the place of y, it can be any other variable. A, B, C are just a number. 
So usually our linear equation in two variable must look like 2x plus 3y plus 20 is equals to zero. This is one of the example. Or our linear equation in two variable will look like 10x minus 20y plus 32 is equals to zero. This is another example of linear equation in two variable. And if your equation is Let's say if your equation is 5x is equals to 3y minus 2, then you can write it as a standard form, which is the standard form. The standard form is this one. So when your equation is like that, 5x is equals to 3y minus 2, you can write it as 5x. This 3y, just bring it to this side, minus 3y. 2, bring it to this side, plus 2 is equals to 0. Now, this looks like the standard form. So, whenever it is mentioned in the question that write the equation in its standard form, we will be writing it like ax plus by plus c is equals to 0. So, don't get confused what exactly is a, what is b, what is c. This is just to make you confused. You just have to write everything in one side and rest the other side has to be zero. Okay. Here, if the question is asking you what is the value of A, what is the value of B, what is the value of C, you can clearly say that since you made it like AX plus BY plus C is equals to zero, now your A value is positive five. Your B value is whatever in front of Y that is minus three and your C value is positive two. So if the question is asking you find A, B and C also, then you will say A is positive five, B is negative three, C is positive two. And this is from where you are getting just by doing the comparison. Here I'm having my nose, you must have your nose over here. Here I'm having my ear, you must have your ear over there. Okay, so we are just comparing at the place. In, in front of x, a is there. In front of x, 5 is there. Okay, so a value is 5. In front of y, b is there in the standard form. In front of y, minus 3 is there in the standard form. Okay, then b value is minus 3. Similarly, in front of, uh, at the place of C, at the place of C, we are having plus two. Oh, all right, we are having plus two as a value of C. Got it? Yes, ma'am. To both of you, now we are done with exercise one. Let's do few example from exercise one. One of the question we have already done. Few more example I am going to do with both of you and then we will be moving with the next concept okay so the few um, the next portion is just a minute just give me a second let me inform them that we are uh, discussing linear equation in two variable and after the class you are supposed to go and give the assessment rumaisha you have you are not giving the assessment uh, seriously right are you Yes, from Aisha. Okay, so as I said, we will be doing few questions over here. So the first question is, suppose your question is twice x plus 3y is equals to 9.35. And there is a bar on the head of 5. If you have done number system, you know that this is non-terminating decimal number and it's okay just to write it as it is because here our focus is linear equation in two variable and what the instruction says the instruction says that express the following linear equation in the form of ax plus by plus c is equals to zero 
again and i repeat express the following linear equation in two variable the given linear equation in two variable in the form ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 so express is express this one in the form of ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 why ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 because that is the standard form of linear equation in two variable the standard form usual form okay so if it says to express it in the form of ax plus by plus c is equals to zero what i told you whenever we have to represent the given equation like this what our purpose is our motto is to make one of the side as a zero so 9.35 that non-terminating decimal number which is sitting on that side just bring it to this side just pull it to this side so we will be having 2x plus 3y minus 9.35 is equals to 0 now this two looks same right sign can be anything sign can be positive sign can be negative we are not worried about that here what is our now the question also says after writing it in the standard form that is ax plus by plus c is equals to zero just writing it like this find the value of a b and c so how you will find the value of a how you will find the value of b how you will find the value of c do we need to do any calculation over here not at all we will just be comparing here at the place of a in our question 2 is here. So we will be saying a value is 2, positive 2. Okay. Now at the place of b in our question, we are having plus 3. So we will say b value is plus 3. Please don't get confused with x and y. We are comparing what is the coefficient of x, what is in front of x. Okay. That is our a. What is in front of y? That is our b. And c means just a constant number. Okay. So what is there at the place of c? So c value is minus 9.35. Here what we need to be mindful with? Here we have to be very careful with the sign. Instead of minus 9.35 bar on the head, you are writing plus 9.35. That is incorrect. Okay, because you know there is a huge difference between a num negative number and a positive number. Okay, plus two and minus two are completely different from each other. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Let me take a wait. The second one, which may seem tough to you. So the second one says we are having x minus y by five minus 10 is equals to zero anyone can you say here what will be the value of a what will be the value of b and what will be the value of c and is it already arranged in the form of ax plus by plus c or we need to arrange it at first anybody it is already it's already arranged. What's the value of A over here? Yes, R is. What's A? In front of X, A is there. In our question, in front of X, what is there? Nothing. Means 1 is there, no? Yes, ma'am. So can we say A value is 1? yeah we can say we cannot say zero is there because zero multiplied with x is completely zero so please if you don't see anything but x is there that means one is sitting over there okay this one now in front what is our b value um uh, one only one this denominator we will not take the b value is can we say let me arrange it 
so that it will look clear to you. I'm going to write the given equation just for clarity. From here only we can take it out A, B and C. It's evident. But for your clarity, I'm going to write it in more structured way. So one into X minus one by five into Y minus 10 is equals to zero. Now, can you say what is our B value? Yes, anyone? Why I have written minus one by five? Because minus y by five and minus one by five y is the same thing, right? Yes, ma'am. So B, can we say B value is minus one over five? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Aris, are you getting it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. And C value is negative 10. As I told you, the importance of sign, you have to be careful while writing the A, B and C value. We have to write it with the proper sign. Okay. Now, if our equation is like, suppose let's say our equation is like, like, twice 5y. Five so here at first we will be arranging it in the form of ax plus by plus c is equals to zero. What's the purpose? What's the motto? To keep one of the side as a zero. To make one of the side as a zero, to make this side as a zero, I need to pull this 5y from that side to this side. Okay. 5y is negative over there. So it will get positive on this side, right? Yes, is it clear so far? Now, we don't have any constant number, so we can't focus on that. Now, we can say it looks like AX plus BY plus C is equals to zero. What is our A value? Simple, two. What is our B value? Very simple. It's plus five. And what's our C value? There is no C in our equation. So, basically, C value is zero. Okay? So, now you must have understood that when we are taking a value as a one and when we are taking whatever is not there as a zero when we are taking as a one when you can see x is there then you are taking the coefficient as a one coefficient means whatever is multiplied with x whatever is multiplied with y okay and when you can't see Suppose in this question only, we are having 2 is equals to minus 5y. Let's arrange it again. So one side we have to make it 0. We can say 2 plus 5y is equals to 0. We can also say 5y plus 2 is equals to 0, right? Because 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 3 is the same thing. So we can say it's 5y plus 2. It's same as 2 plus 5y. Now let's compare it. Ax plus by plus c is equals to zero. Here, what is our a value? a is not there, a value is zero. So previously x was there. That's why we have taken a value as a one. But here in this question, in this equation, we can't see x. That's why we are saying a is zero. Okay, now can we see y? Yes, we can see why. So we can say B value is positive 5. And what is C value? C value is positive 2. Got it? Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. So hence we are done with first exercise. How to make the mathematical equation just by reading the statement. And how to write any equation in the form of like in standard form of linear equation in two variable, that is ax plus by plus c is equals to zero. Once you will arrange it like this one, after that you have to find the value of a, the value of b, the value of c. Just by comparison, no calculation, nothing is needed for this exercise. Okay, now this next exercise says the solution of the linear equation. The moment I started this chapter, I was telling you, that linear equation in one variable has 
one and only one solution. If I am saying x plus two is equals to three, then there is only one value which will satisfy this equation. Let me write it again. If I am giving you an example of linear equation in one variable, that is x plus two is equals to three. So there is only one value that is x equals to one, which will satisfy this equation. Instead of one, if you want to take x as a minus one, it will not satisfy. If you want to take x as a five, it will not satisfy. Instead of one, if you want to take any other number for x, it will, this equation will get wrong, completely wrong. You will not get three after adding that with two. Is it possible to get any other number as a x instead of one? Is it possible any number? You think of any number and tell me if it if it's there, I'll write it over here. Minus one. Minus one. Let's do it. Minus one plus two. Are we getting three? Are we? No, ma'am. So any other number which will give you three when you will add it with two? What you want to take as a X? Yes, Rumaisha. Any number which you want to take as a X, which will be valid for the given equation, which will give you three. After adding with two, there is only one number that is one. Yeah, you say? No, ma'am, there is, we can only take one because two yeah. plus one with two. Yeah, exactly. We can only take a number that is x equals to one. If you will keep on thinking, you will not get it. Okay. And this is called the solution of the above equation. What is the meaning of solution of the above equation? In your lower classes, this solution means roots. Okay, root solution, it's the same thing. So it's called the root of the equation. It's called the solution of the equation. In your previous class, you have learned a method to find the solution. When x plus two is is equals to three, then your teacher must have told you to isolate X. That means to keep X on one side and send two to other side so that it will just get go and just go and collaborate with three, constant with constant, like term we will be having. And then, then we can apply the mathematical operation. Three minus two is one. So there is one value which will like this, you have learned to find the solution. Which is also called solving the equation. And this is the method I am telling you just by guessing. Here also we are saying x equals to 1 is the only number which will satisfy this equation. There is no other number which will satisfy the equation. Okay, then that's why x equals to 1 is called the solution of this equation. So either this process or this process, we are doing the same thing. Okay, now again I am repeating but when we are having linear equation in two variable, let's say x plus y is equals to 10. Here x value can be 1, y value can be 9. Right? 1 plus 9, 10. Here x value can be 2, y value can be 8. 2 plus 8, 10. Here x value x value can be 3 y value can be 7 so that's why the very first example the very first fill in the blanks true false question will ask you that linear equation in two variable have one solution 
infinitely many solution and none of this this kind of options will be there there you have to say that linear equation in two variable have infinitely many solution because you can see you will keep on going keep on going and you will you you will be able to take out one new pair where x value will be there y will be value y value will be there and it will be never ending getting it yes ma'am so the first thing first is you must know that linear equation in one variable just like the above example has one solution but linear equation in two variable has infinitely many solution now let's see the questions like how the the yeah now when it says to find the solution of any linear equation in two variable here it's easy to guess when x plus y is equals to 10 is there it's very simple to guess it what can be the value of x and what can be the value of y okay now i am just showing you how to guess okay how we will be solving it that is the late later on we will think about that first thing is how to just identify what can be the value of x and y which will satisfy this equation but when you will be having a tricky like a very complicated equation just like suppose you are having let me write it yeah suppose you are having 2x plus y is equals to 7 here what can be the value of x what can be the value of y which will satisfy this equation which will be the solution of this equation so x value can be if i am taking x as a 3 3 2 times 6 and then plus 1 so can i say x can be 3 and y can be 1 just by thinking can we can we say yes rumaisha and aris uh, no no let's check 2 into 3 Plus one. Are we getting seven? Are we getting seven? Yes, ma'am. So x equals to three and y equals to one. Can it be the solution of the given equation? Or is? Yes, ma'am. It can be. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it can be. How we got it? Just by thinking. a random number i have taken as x and random number i have taken as a y so that after doing the calculation of the left hand side we will end up getting the right hand side that is 7 so whatever you are taking as a x and y make sure that you are getting the right hand side number so if you are getting 7 after doing the whole calculation then yes this can be the solution and this is one of the solution of the given equation So what is the meaning of solution which will satisfy the equation which will make the equation true if after putting this value of x and y in the above equation if you will end up getting 10 20 30 40 then you, you we are wrong because what the equation says equation says 2x plus y is equals to 7 take any x and any y so that after doing whole calculation we will end up getting 7 so i have taken x as a 3 and y as a 1 and i know when i will do the calculation i will be getting 7 that means 3 and 1 is one of the solution of the given linear equation in two variable got it yes ma'am now as i said there will be infinitely many solution when we are dealing with linear equation in two variable so the other pair can be can we take x as a 2 and y as a check it 2x plus y has to be 7 if i am taking x value as a 2 that means 2 into 2 plus 3 are we getting 7 oh, are we getting 7 
Yes or no? Yes. yes. We are getting seven. So x equals to two and y equals to three can also be one of the solution. This way you will be able to find infinitely many solution. But will you keep on thinking during the exam and will waste your time? No. What you will do, just take any random number for x. Rather than thinking and keep on thinking when you are having like, very, suppose you will be having very complicated equation where I, I'm asking you find two solution, find three solution. That means a, a random like number X and Y, which will satisfy the equation. How you will find it just by thinking, just by thinking we can find it, but that is time taking process. So what is the efficient method? The efficient method is the first thing first is you go and take x as a zero and find y value with the help of given equation. So the given equation is 2x plus y is equals to 7. Here I am going to take x as a zero and I am going to calculate y from here. So once I will calculate y from here, 2 into 0 is 0. You know that, no? 2 into 0 is 0 only. And 0 plus yes, y no. will be again only y. That's why I'm just leaving few steps. So here we got y is equals to 7. So I can say, I can say that x equals to 0 and y equals to 7 is one of the solution. How we got it? Without even thinking, we got it. We, we have just taken x as a 0 and we have calculated y by taking the given equation. Let's check it whether it's a solution or not. Solution means what? A point which will satisfy the equation. Solution means a point which will make the equation true. What is our equation? 2x plus 3y is equals to 7. Here, x equals to 0 when you will, you will put and y equals to 7 when you will put 3y was not there. Let me do the correction. The, our equation was 2x plus y is equals to 7. Here, x equals to 0 when you will put and y equals to 7 when you will put. Will this give you 7, the whole calculation? Will it give you 7? No, ma'am. It will not give? Let's check. And I said yes. Yeah. Will it? Two yes, ma'am. Plus 7 is equals to, this will give 0 plus 7. That is 7. Oh, yeah. This is giving us 7, the right-hand side. And yes, we can say 0, 7 is one of the pair, which is the solution of this equation, right? Are you getting it? Yes, from my told us. Yeah. So this way we got one of the solution. Just by thinking we got no. We have taken x equals to 0 and we have calculated y value. From there, we got a pair of x and y. x 0, we have already taken y, one of the number we got. And we can say this is one of the solution. Okay. Similarly, how we will find? Let me rub it. Similarly, if suppose we have to find other pair also because there are infinitely many solutions. So we suppose we have to find two solution, three solution, four solution like that. Okay, so already the time is over. Uh, let me keep it this much, just a moment. Yeah, so yes, Aris and Rumaisha, I'm keeping it this much for today. Okay, just go and give the assessment. I'll be sending you the homework. And yeah, for today, I'm keeping it this much. Do you want to ask anything from here? No. Is it clear so far? Yes, ma'am. Okay.
okay then we, about the solution again we will be discussing so yeah thank you for today take care of yourself thank you Is there everyone from class nine over here?